Hey guys, Brett here, and I'm the Hornet King. Thank you so much for tuning in to check out this video. This is the removal of a bald faced hornet nest from outside of a client's house, plus the chickens and the squirrely squirrel. Here's the video, check it out. Now, will you nip the branch off and carry it away, or were you? Well, I was going to do that, but this one's got this one's connected to a lot of branches, so uh, I mean, I, m I might be able to do that, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to back. It's, this is going to be an extermination, not a relocation, unfortunately. Yeah, well, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> now they're not going to swarm too bad. It should be all right. All right, so this is a bald-faced hornet nest, which is technically a yellow jacket, an aerial nest building yellow jacket. And this nest, I wanted to be able to relocate it, um, but I was about maybe an hour away from my house down in Delaware, and it wasn't gonna be a viable nest to be relocated, so I did have to remove this one. Um, so as with any of my removals, um, especially with aerial nest building yellow jackets, the first few steps is just a matter of taking the vacuum and vacuuming as many of the adults as I can, getting as many foragers as I can. Um, so you'll see I have the, the, I have the nozzle of the vacuum kind of at an angle at the entranceway. I'm not, I'm not shoving the, the nozzle into the entranceway. Um, I'm also not trying to catch the, the ones out of midair. Um, but what is happening is since I have it kind of off to the side, it allows for foragers to still see the entranceway and to try to fly into the nest, and that's when they get sucked up. It also allows for ones that are trying to come out, um, it allows them to take off to fly, and then they get sucked up into the nozzle. If I were to just simply be shoving this into the entranceway, the ones flying around would, would just stay swarming and get alert alerted to swarm, and the ones inside would literally just latch onto the inside of the envelope and they wouldn't even move until I pulled the nozzle out and then they would just pour out of that thing and swarm. So this is the technique that I use and it's the most effective. Um, every now and then you'll see I'm, I'm tapping, on, like right there, I'm tapping on the top of the nest and that is just to try to alert the ones inside to go investigate and pour out to find out what's going on. Um, there may have been a pheromone response inside the nest. Um, I don't really know. The, initially, when I first got started, a few of them poured out of it, but it was just the um, it was just the guards. So um, I don't know that there was an actual alert inside. Um, but once I walk away here, you see that they start coming out, and then they start investigating. Okay, what the heck just happened? Um, they don't swarm real crazy. A couple of them just kind of fly around, but they don't really. Um, they don't really pour out of the inside of that nest and swarm a lot. So I have to wonder that they were more just confused, like, what what just happened? Um, then you see ones coming back from foraging, and they're not alerted at all. They fly right into the nest and go and go on their merry way of whatever business they were doing before they got back. So, um, so at this point, I just went to go get my snippers because I wanted to just try to, now that I thought that I had a lot of the adults vacuumed mm -hmm. out, um, I'll just try to snip the nest down and then um, tend to the, the rest of the foragers after I get the nest into the bin. And then I came back and there was a lot more around the outside of the nest and of course I didn't see what you guys just saw. So yeah, so once I come back then I just vacuum up as many as I can. Um, and you don't really know like how each nest and each colony is going to behave. So they are really smart. So when they see me vacuuming from the front from inside, they'll just wait until I pull that vacuum nozzle away and then they come pouring out so it's another reason why I try to keep the, uh, the the nozzle out from the entrance way a little bit so here I'm just getting ready just to snip a couple of the smaller branches at the bottom of the nest and then uh, then I'll work my way up and, and then get the main branch and uh, get that nest down even though I, I vacuum up a lot of these adults you see in the vacuum at the end of the video I'm not getting all of them that doesn't mean that they're escaping. It just means that there's a lot that are out foraging that could be an hour out still. Like, they won't be back for an hour's time. So, you know, vacuuming up as many as I can, and then once I take the nest down, I kind of linger around a little bit just to catch the remaining individuals.
So now the nest is down, I'll take the vacuum nozzle and actually kind of simulate the entranceway to the nest. So I try to put it as close as I can to the original opening of the nest. And you can see these foragers are kind of flying around and looking at that like, is that the entranceway? I'm not really sure. Um, and you see she kind of flies past the nozzle and investigates again, then comes right back and goes right into it. Boop. So, the girls in my office want me to bring a t-shirt back. <laughs> I wish I had one. <laughs> I do on my YouTube channel, but I do have some left over in, in a box. I just didn't bring any along. Uh, I have two. I have one that says, uh, Wasp, you talking about? Another one says, Do I make you hornet? <laughs> I like that one. I like that one too. <laughs> I always gets a good laugh. Chickens, this uh, wasp nest, and they, they wanted me to pick them dry, I guess. Uh, what are they doing? Huh? What are they doing? Well, they're not eating. Uh, they, they expect me to pick the nest dry now. Have a lovely day now. Hey, you too now. It's good seeing you, John. All right. I'm happy to hear about your house, man. It's awesome. What in the name of heavens are those? Wasp nest. What are they? Wasp nest. That's a bald faced hornet nest. This is a western yellow jacket nest. And I have Where a. Where did you get all of them? Oh, I, this is what I do, man. I do this for a living. I remove wasp nests from people's houses. And then what do you do with them? And I film them for YouTube. Well, I film the whole process, but I film the nests and I feel them with chickens and people like watching them eat. And... It's a whole thing, man. Oh, dude, do you do? Yeah. Oh, you ever see it. European hornets? No. You want to see some? European hornets. Mm -hmm. You mean the actual bug itself? Yeah. Are they still alive? Yeah. Do I want to see it? Yeah, of course you do. Come on in. Come on in. <laughs> <laughs> good talk to you, John. Have All a good right, one. See you now. Yep.
All right, the contents of the vacuum. Let's dump it out over here and let bark. Get a bit of bald-faced hornets in there. So good to see you back, Humphrey. You enjoying that pizza? Sure do got a winter coat on you. I knew it was him. I can't believe you still fit in that little hole. That's what she said. Oh, it's glowy squirrel. Oh, it's glowy squirrel. <laughs> it's a heavy piece of pizza we're trying to take somewhere. There's a blueberry there, why don't you eat that? Or the blackberry. Let's eat the blackberry, Squirrel Squirrel. There you go. Oh, Squirrel Squirrel. Oh, Squirrel Squirrel. There you go, Squirrel Squirrel. Squirrel Squirrel. I'm not sure if I'm ready for you to jump on me. Yeah, isn't that good? Yummy blackberries, squirrel, squirrel. And yummy blackberries, squirrel, squirrel. What a nice glow squirrel. What a nice glow squirrel. 
I missed you, squirrel squirrel. I missed you, squirrel squirrel. Hey, squirrel squirrel. Hey, Henry. Alright guys, thanks so much for tuning in to check out this video. If you guys enjoyed this content, drop in the comments, let me know what you think. If you have suggestions for future videos, something you'd like to see me cover in an upcoming video, also drop in the comments, let me know. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. And hit that bell notification down below, that way you guys can get an update anytime I do post a video. Thank you so much for tuning in to check out this video, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. That's alright. If you have some new friends, you see. This is a turkey, and her name is Ducky. Ain't nerf my aunt Ducky, but also after Ducky the chicken that I used to have. And then, there you go, Ducky. And then this is, this is Goosey, named after my aunt Goosey. Say hi, Goosey. Cobble, cobble, cobble. She's a white turkey. So she'll be humongous, hopefully. And hopefully she's not a gobbler. <laughs> Alright, girlfriend. Let's go back in the cage here. And then there's four chicks. Chickens. And they haven't had a name for everybody yet. We're getting there. Yes, they're pecking the side of the wall. That's a bright one. <laughs> so that's what we have going on so far. More as it develops. <laughs>